guys, my name is Amy Cho. I'm a golf professional. Today I'm here to talk about the lifting of the head action that causes you to miss hit. The ideal way of swinging is to keep the head down as long as possible throughout the whole swing. But if you look at the world's great, greatest players like Annika Sorensen or David Duval, you can clearly see that their head has completely rotated way before the impact. But we don't exactly label these as lifting the head, right? But I'm sure you've personally experienced times where you clearly keep your eyes on the golf ball and you're still looking at the tee and your playing partner will tell you, you lifted your head, keep your eyes on the golf ball. And you're just like, I'm still looking at the tee, what are you talking about, right? What defines the lifting of the head motion? So there's a secret behind it. And that secret is, drum roll please. The secret is in the spine angle. So obviously we're trying to keep the spine down as much as possible, it'll eventually go up. And since your head is attached to the spine, it'll move together, right? If the spine goes up, the head will go up. But the difference is keeping the spine down through impact and then going up after versus the spine angle going up before the impact. Now this we'll call either early extension or lifting the head, right? So in order to fix your head from moving up too much, I told, I mentioned the uh, spine angle. There are many different reasons why this happens. It could be because you're so eager to look at the golf ball, you lift your head up and the spine comes up, or because you're starting the downswing with your head like this and the spine comes up, or you're using the arms for the downswing and you early extend, or because you're weak, it, weak or lack flexibility that makes you early extend and stand up this way. So there's many different ways to fix this, but as you guys know, I always show you the easiest and most effective way to fix your swing. So today I'm going to talk about the shoulder plane that's going to help you fix it. I'm sure you haven't heard too many things about the shoulder plane. So whenever I give something new and fresh to my students, they seem to click onto it better and fix movements a lot faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain the shoulder plane first. So if you're standing perpendicular to the ground, you, take in, you go ahead and take your setup. Your spine angle bends over about 30 to 40 degrees or so. It all varies depending on like your length of your legs, arms, or the club you have in your hands, right? But we're just gonna pick a number and say it's 40 degrees bent over this way. So you want to keep that 40 degrees with your spine throughout the whole swing and rotate your shoulders perpendicular to that. So the hula hoop indicates how your shoulders move, right? This is ideal. And if you lift your head up, what happens is you go up this way and the shoulder plane becomes parallel to the ground, which we don't want. We want it in an angle this way. And I'm sure if you guys seen a lot of my lessons, I always talk about the eight o'clock position. So if this is a clock, 12 o'clock, six o'clock, when the left arm points to the eight o'clock, I mentioned that position a lot. So now you probably understand where the four o'clock position is, right? So when your arms are pointing at the four o'clock, that position is what we're gonna focus on today. So we're going to maintain that 40 degree spine angle, rotate perpendicular to it throughout the whole entire backswing, come down, and we're going to maintain that until four o'clock position right here. And then after this four o'clock position, you have to go up. So you finish straight up and down on your left foot. This is really important because after four o'clock, if you try to stay down, you're prone to injuries in your neck and your back and we don't want to do that. So we, I want you to get used to staying in your angles in the backswing until four o'clock and then finish straight up and down. If you understand this, let's try and do this with the driver in our hands. I'm sure not too many of you guys have a hula hoop handy in your golf bag, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use your driver to do the same thing. So you're gonna set up the same way with the shaft sitting across your shoulder blades and you gotta pretend like you're drawing lines from either end of the club. So when you rotate back and through, you're drawing a hula hoop, right? So you're turning through, keeping that shoulder plane nice and angled until four o'clock position and then you're gonna go straight up and down. 
Okay, if you're used to it, let's make a practice swing and hit the golf ball. I gave you guys a lot of details today. So we talked about the lifting of the head motion and that was caused by the spine angle. And to fix those, we had to work on the shoulder plane. So try the hula hoop drill, staying angled until four o'clock and then finishing straight up and down on your left foot. Try that drill and make sure you get that shoulder plane going nicely so you get rid of your lifting the head motion so you can hit it long and straight. I hope you guys were able to follow along. If you have any more questions, please come to Ask AB section and leave your questions and comments there. And I'll see you guys in the next video.